Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Pixie 590. Filming this on a very nice Sunday in November. I thought we'd do something different today. It's still going to be about Kenny because it's going to be a Kenny video. But I thought today that we'd talk about his books. And when I say his books, I mean the ones that were done by Kenny. So, we'll start with this one. It's called Kenneth Moore, Happy Go Lucky. And there's a very nice picture of Kenny on the front. Um, uh, excuse the condition of the book. This one is an ex-library book that I managed to get off the internet. It's... Um, tells you all about Kenny's life and Kenny's uh, starting uh, about his family um, but I don't want to tell you too much about the book because obviously I want you to read it so but I will show you some of the pictures that are in the book this one there look of Kenny with his mum and his sister and that bottom one, I believe, is his grandmother, yes. And, uh, find some more. And there's a lovely picture of Kenny. That one is with Kay Kendall from Genevieve. Um, now, a lot, I really like this book because it gives you, it tells you about what he tried first first it explains about his family and then it explains about when he um when he tried fur trapping and stuff but i don't like i say i don't want to tell you because i'd like you to read it um i loved reading it it made me feel like not you know not that you're there but you can vision in it and you can see kenny doing it um very nice picture of kenny with his family um but yeah you should read it it's really good and there's nothing better than hearing things said in in his own words really um i'm not going to go on too much but it's definitely read it because i love the way things are phrased and the memories i could could uh, just go on for ages that is another picture that's from titanic oh sorry a night to remember on the titanic um <laughs> funny note when i first watched that and i know it's a bad thing to say but i didn't care who drowned as long as it weren't kenny <laughs> when i was watching the film it was like okay but kenny can't die <laughs> and he didn't and um you know it's it's just it's his personality i mean there he is with oh, Jane Mansfield from the Sheriff of Fractured Jaw which is just so funny because there's Kenny in this film and everybody else is just really American and he's like very 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 English and stealing the show completely so that was that's his first book so the next book is called Would You Kindly Leave the Stage no oh, sorry Kindly Leave the Stage sorry I do have this habit of adding words um, the bio on the back, I'll read that one to you. It says, Kenneth Moore learned acting the hard way, first at the windmill and then in repertory. His first big film epic was Scott of the Antarctic, but it was Genevieve which he made his, which made him a star. His performance in Doctor in the House, another personal favourite, um, won him a British Film Academy Award, a as the best actor in 1954. He won the Venice, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, so do excuse me, but something like Volpe Corp as best actor in 1955. And for the film version of The Deep Blue Sea, his subsequent, his subsequent films include A Night to Remember, Northwest Frontier, Green Gage Summer, Hunt, Hunt for the for the Bismarck. Sink the Bismarck, isn't it? And the longest day. 
Did they change the title of that? Because I'm sure. Sink. Yeah, sink the Bismarck. Hmm. Never noticed that. That's the first time I've noticed that. And then there's a lovely picture of Kenny on the back. And again. Um, they've got some wonderful drawings inside. I like that one from the Kenny Moore Theatre. Um, this one my partner bought me. And um, it is just such a brilliant book and you you know like i said i don't want to tell you about it i want you to read it and hear it from his own experiences i mean there's a bit here that says kenny was one of our most experienced successful actors and sh and had has a shrewd but twinkling eye for the pitfalls and observatives in the profession that he loves his best-selling autobiography biography was acclaimed as a gloriously funny, superbly witty, and a wonderful romp. Once again, a likeable Mr. Moore is splendid, in a splendid and hilarious form. So you know that just that really does sum it up. Um, this this one, I, I read the inscription on it. Well, you know who they dedicate it to. And I just thought it was really sweet because he, he dedicated it to my sh to Shrimp, my favourite actress. And as anybody who's a fan of Kenny will know, Shrimp is how he used to refer to Angela. Uh, Angela Douglas, his last wife. And I just think that is so, such a lovely tribute. Um, I don't know where my Smurf got this. That's my nickname for um, my partner. And I meant I didn't tell you, but I'll have a look now. The inscrip uh, the inscription in this one is he's got that. As, this is his happy go lucky. He's got that which he's put his his wife's favourite picture, and it says to the public, God bless them. So you know, I think that's I just think that's absolutely beautiful. Now his last book that Kenny did was uh, this one, kind of more, more or less. And again, it picks up, it's telling you about his acting, about his life and his family, about things that went off around him. But it has got some absolutely wonderful pictures in here. Now, this one, it's, oh, it's this one. For Shrimp, whose laughter and tears made it possible. And for Pat and S Cyril Porter, whose friendship never we wavered. Now, if you're a Kenny fan and you know some of the story, you'll know that a lot of people that he classed as friends turned out not to be very good friends. Um, couldn't accept some of the things that he chose but you know it's his life you can't live your life for other people you've got to be happy so it's glad that he had friends that never never waned um, I was going to try and find out what year this one was released but I either skipped past it or I just ah, this one was released in 1978 Um, it's got some lovely pictures in it. Uh, try and show you one you've not seen. <laughs> like, so this one here is when they were filming the Marable Crichton, and uh, this was from when he was in the. Um, Windmill Theatre football team. Um, it's a great book, and you know, you've got some of the classics in, like uh, Dot the Doctor film, Reach for the Sky, Genevieve, um, 
deep blue sea. Uh, so yeah, definitely, definitely check them out. It is really worth it. Um, this this one here, uh, that's from Sink the Bismarck, and I can I can tell you that that scene is where he's just found out that uh, his son's boat has gone down. And he thinks his son is dead. And if, if you look at the agony on his face, I mean, that is superb acting in. It's, that film is such a good film. Um, you see him change. You see, um, you know, he's like really stern when he first arrives. And then when he's like living through the process with everybody, it's... The way he portrays it is just absolutely amazing. Um, there he is in Man in the Moon. I absolutely love that film. Um, they do one experiment with heat where it's in this box and um, in part of the astronaut program. And uh, one, with the heat one, it's like really hot and his newspaper gets wet and he ends up wringing it out. And it brings an egg to eat, and it cooks on the on the surface, like all the all the other the real astronauts have like given up, but he's still in there. And then when they're testing for cold, it is <laughs> all the astronauts end up coming out again, and, and Kenny doesn't. And um, when they go look through the little window, he's there with a thermos trying to pour tea, which freezes instantly. It's reading a newspaper that. Um, it's brittle and breaks as he's trying to turn the page just because it's frozen. It's a great film. If you've not seen it, definitely watch it. There's a picture of Kenny outside the Windmill Theatre where, as, you, as you'll know, he started his career. Um, but, you know... Ah, that's a nice one. That's a picture of when Kenny married Angela and... Yeah, and Roger Moore, James Bond, he was the best man at their wedding. And I just think that, you know, things like that is such lovely memories. Um, you, if you read it and he share, the stories that he shares with you are absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely, if you've never read his books, you should get them. Starting with Happy Go Lucky. And then, please leave the stage, uh, can you leave the stage, and more or less. Um, there is a new book uh, come out um, from the uh, Nick, I'm not very good at it, his second name. And it's called, oh hang on, I screenshotted it because I knew I'd forget. Um, where is it? It's called More Please. And it's a personal journey to restore the legacy of the great uh, of the le of the actor Kenneth Moore, on one of Britain's most successful stars. I'd love to be able to read this name, but I can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. And that book is due out anytime soon. Uh, if you go to Twitter and you go to kennethmore.com, um, it's it's there. It says. Um, it's going to be published soon. Very, 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 you know, for if you're a fan, you should definitely get it. I can't wait to get it. I'm going to read it and I'm going to do a review. I do have uh, another one to review, which is Angela's book about her life with Kenny. But I just wanted to make today's just about Kenny. And I hope you enjoyed it. It brings back some really good memories when you're doing... Uh, reviewing things and it's really inspired me to read all three again because I just like hearing the, the tale well reading the tales and stuff that you went through and I'd like to say please keep well look after yourselves and stay safe this is Pixie 590 bye for now